Hello everyone, this is our uh, session number 5 of lesson number 1. In this session we are going to learn what the different computer types. Let's see first what we learn in session number 4. In session number 4 we learn uh, different computer generation and technology which were used in earlier generations and uh, today's generations. Okay, I hope you all understand what I taught in last session. Now in this session we are going to learn about what the different computer types according to their use, according to the requirement, according to uh, Computers are divided in four types. These are here. First one is the supercomputers, second microcomputers, handheld devices, and mainframe computers. Generally, supercomputers and mainframe computers are used by the large organizations, research institutions, okay, to work faster to solve what uh, big calculations, okay, to hold more data, okay. And what about the microcomputer handheld devices are used for entertainment to communication and for other work, okay, personal work, okay. Uh, it is used in home, uh, almost it is used everywhere. Now let's see what is the next point. Our next point is uh, supercomputers. Let's see uh, about this computer in detail. Uh, so first type of computer that is supercomputers. In size, these computers are large. They are more efficient to solve what any complex calculation. Okay, which could uh, not, so, which could uh, not possible for any uh, personal computer to solve in a short span of a time. Okay. That means a personal computer will take more time. It, it will take what a 20 days, okay, to one month to solve what any particular complex calculation, uh, which could, uh, which can supercomputer solve in a few seconds, okay. So it is about supercomputer, and inside these uh, computers are larger, okay, occupy what a more space, and uh, it require what a cooling stations to reduce its what the temperature, okay. And uh, the strength of what any particular nation is depend on what the size of supercomputers. Okay, now currently China has what a 229 supercomputers. Okay, so it is so this country is on leading position uh, on basis of what the supercomputer. Okay, and these types of computers are used uh, in uh, research institutions to launch what a satellites for weather forecasting. Okay, and for so many things, it is used or these types of computers are used okay also it is used to launch what missiles okay and it cannot be operated by any single person it requires what a team to operate okay because because of its size okay and consumption of electricity is too high as compared with what other computer types so it is about what the supercomputer and uh, let's see what is the next one this after the next type of computer is the uh, mainframe computers inside this computer smaller but uh, very expensive as compared to what a supercomputer because uh, they are more more efficient than what uh, the supercomputer, okay. And these type com these types of computers are used uh, by banks, educational institutes, okay, insurance companies, and by other companies, okay, to store data, okay. So it is about what uh, the mainframe computer. And few examples are listed here. First one that is uh, VME, ICL, Hitachi Z800. These are some examples of what. Uh, mainframe computers okay and these computers are uh, deployed by uh, government organizations also to run their business operations okay also by the large private firms okay so it is about what uh, the mainframe computers you can see here we example of what uh, we have a picture of mainframe computer and here also it requires a team to operate in size it's larger as, as compared to micro computers and handheld okay but as compared to what a uh, Supercomputer is smaller than what a supercomputer. Okay, then uh, what is the next one? That is microcomputers. And this type of computers, uh, or this type of computers, are smaller in size compared to microcomputers, as compared to what a uh, mainframe computers and supercomputers. Okay, and uh, it's not more expensive. That means more microcomputers are available with reasonable rates. Anybody can purchase. Okay, these are available with affordable rates. Okay. And it has what a CPU and it has output uh, and it has what the input devices. Okay, and this type of computer used by a single person, so it is called what a microcomputer or sometimes it's called what PC personal computer. These types of computers are used at home, schools, shops, and at malls also. Okay, and sometimes it is called what a desktop computer. Laptop is also example of what a microcomputers. So it is about what a microcomputers. Let's see what is the next one. This after our next point is the uh, that is handheld devices. It's a type of computer. Why these devices called handheld computer? Because uh, generally we carry through hand or uh, generally we carry in hand. Okay, uh, we can keep those uh, devices in pockets also. 
so these devices are called handheld devices some examples are listed here what these are the tablet PDA personal digital assistant okay and you can carry anywhere it has what inbuilt output and input devices okay that means it cannot be easily separated those things okay and it's in rectangular form it's in a square okay it has what a touch screen okay through which we enter the data it has a screen through which we can watch or we can see the output or result it has what a the uh, multimedia uh, controls through which we can listen we can uh, watch we can capture images okay so it is about handheld devices and you can easily carry through pocket so it doesn't require what any special bag or anything okay in pocket also we can carry like our mobile pad okay or tab these are some examples of our handheld devices okay it is used by single user through it, through it uh, we can communicate we can chat we can uh, call with other we can uh, do what the things uh, uh, which are possible on what a desktop computer like we can create here documents also we can create excel spreadsheet file okay that means it is what one uh, portable device that can be carried anywhere and hold over any application okay and uh, it is about what the handheld devices okay I hope you all understand the different computer types okay now let's see what is the next point our next point is activity which you have to solve in a computer textbook or so it is solved in a computer notebook then let's see what is next I think here over our lesson uh, number one I hope you all understand what points I taught what uh, theory I taught from this uh, lesson then your work is you have to solve this exercise in your computer textbook also in notebook also okay fill in the blanks the first point uh, hint box in hint box uh, options are given you have to pick the correct one then next uh, state whether statements are true or false okay simply write it's true or false this after the next one answer in short that means you write answer in one sentence and next uh, choose single correct answer which one is correct uh, you have to take then next one answer the following questions you write in two to three sentences answer the following write in one sentence or see what you have to do here then this after the next one you have to write full forms and first one is the even ivs i c u s e l s i p d a i i taught this all okay so try to write uh, without searching without look on that page okay so this afterward is the next uh, application best questions are here you have to solve this and uh, what about the lag lab activity if it is possible to you people at home you can solve otherwise uh, school will reopen i'll take this activity in 